Hi, my name is Pam Lamp. I write a blog called Who I Met Today. I interview people from all walks of life and we talk about things to read, eat, see, do. I'd love for you to follow along. I also love to talk about books to anyone that will listen. And I write a monthly book column or book article for this 60 and Me community. Today, I hope that I have five books that will um, interest all of you. I have a memoir, um, some fiction, historical fiction, and some nonfiction. So hopefully that encompasses everyone's interests. The first book is called The Magnificent Lives of Marjorie Post by Allison Pataki. And I think this is the most beautiful cover, which is the reason that I picked up the book in the first place. Talks about um, Marjorie Post and the life that she led as the heiress to the Post serial fortune. I also had forgotten that she was a former owner of Mar-a-Lago down in Florida. Um, Marjorie was intelligent, rich, kind. She spent lavishly and she helped those in need lavishly. It was a wonderful portrayal of, of all she did, um, fictionalized, but a novel based on truth. So I hope that um, if, you love, if you read that, you will make some comments on this article and let us know. The next book is called, read it on my Kindle, In Love, A Memoir of Love and Loss by Amy Bloom. This one could be a tough read for, for some people. Um, it's a touchy topic, but I just loved it. I thought the author did a wonderful job of dealing with a very difficult subject. The author is a, a writer, a psychotherapist. Her husband at age 65, diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's, decided that um, he wanted to go to Switzerland and um, have a, a company or assisted suicide. He did not want to live as, and I quote, a shell of a person. So um, the author flips back and forth between their week in Switzerland and um, flashbacks to the life that they had. Um, she does it in a relatable, witty way. And I did not think the story was depressing or sad. I thought it was very factual. Um, I, I felt like I was being poked in the chest. This could be you, this could be your husband, this could be a dear friend. And I just really enjoyed it from cover to cover. The next book, another memoir, this one is um, a book of essays that kind of tell a story. It's by Mary Laura Philpott, who I had the pleasure of interviewing a couple of years ago when her first book, which I really loved, came out called I Miss You When I Blink. But now she's back with Bomb Shelter. And this one is quite popular. It's been all over the New York Times, the Washington Post. She's been a guest on many, many podcasts. Um, she tells the story of a two year period of her life very recently and during the pandemic when her teenage son, she woke up one night in the middle of the night to hear him um, banging his head against the bathroom floor. He was having a seizure. And um, the book talks about um, how do you protect those you love? You know, we all, we all worry about that during the joyful times we think um, what happens if, or when, when will this end, or we wait for the other shoe to drop. So it's a very um, moving, moving story. The essays you can read one at a time, and um, I highly recommend that one. The next book, I don't have, I, I got it from the library, so I don't have the cover to show you. It's called Fuzz, When Nature Breaks the Law by Mary Roach. Some of you may have read her other books, nonfiction, she has positioned herself as a science writer and she doesn't have a science background at all, but she does a great job of taking complicated subjects and drilling them down um, to where the layperson can easily understand what she's talking about. She has one called um, Grunt, one called Packing for Mars. Uh, Packing for Mars is about the space program. Grunt is about military, both very, very good books and would make excellent Father's Day gifts if you're looking for something. Um, the one I'm talking about today, though, back to that, Fuzz, When Nature Breaks the Law, would make is another one that would make a good Father's Day gift. It's about um, animals or nature that breaks the law. Burglarizing bears, vandalizing birds, um, jaywalking moose, um, 
birds that um, make a mess of St. Peter's Square. But it's very entertaining and um, I, I, humorous stories. And um, I, I think I, I think this would be a good one for just about anyone. And then the last one for the month is called Woman on Fire by Lisa Bar. Lisa Barr. And um, you may have heard of this one because she sold the rights to Sharon Stone, who plans to produce and star in the movie. Um, I couldn't wait my, to get my hands on it. And um, I assure you the buzz is warranted. The buzz surrounding this, movie, surrounding this book, it is really good. It deals with um, artwork stolen during the Nazi regime. Um, three different people in the book are looking for it a journalist, an art gallerist, and a famous shoe designer. It flip-flops between New York, Germany, and France. Sorry about that. Um, just a very interesting, a good story, has all the things I like in a book. So those are the books I have um, for this month. I hope that you will comment on the post with what you've read, what you recommend, if you've read one of these books, what you think. And I would really love for you to follow my blog, who I met today. So thanks very much. Happy reading.